Hey, welcome back. In the last video up above, I showed you how to enable Microsoft 365 Defender. In this video, I want to show you how to enable portal redirection. So let's jump into it. I'll put a link in the video description to this article. It's really important you read it because even when you enable redirection, there's going to be some compliance related items that are going to be in compliance.microsoft.com and some mail flow related items that are going to be in the new Exchange Admin Center. So make sure you understand that. Over in Microsoft 365 Defender, we're going to scroll down to the bottom and go to settings. And we're going to start with email and collaboration. And you'll see portal redirection. I just enabled this. In fact, here we'll disable it. And then we will uh, cancel out of feedback and we'll re-enable it. All accounts and organizations will be redirected from protection.office.com to the new Microsoft 365 Security Center portal. That's great. Click enable. Boom, done. Go back to settings, click on endpoint. This is gonna be for Defender for endpoint. And I'm gonna click on portal redirection. I've already done this, but let's go ahead and turn it off. Close out of feedback, re-enable it. All accounts and organization will be redirected from securitycenter.windows.com to Microsoft 365 Security Center portal. Great, turn on. Now, as you can see, this is Defender for endpoint. These are all of the same settings from the legacy Defender for endpoint portal. There you are. All right, so that's that. And then if I come down here to email and collaboration, there's everything from protection.office.com. And then if I click on policies and rules, here are all of my uh, def uh, Defender for Office policies and, and some of my EOP policies. So there you have it. Folks, that's portal redirection. It's really easy. It allows me now to work within a single portal for Defender for Endpoint and Defender for Office 365.